Good afternoon, everybody. It is May 17th, 2024. It is 5.07 in the evening. Okay, so what I've got for you for this video is another dream I had recently. Um, I dreamt that... <laughs> I was in a hotel, I think. I think it was a hotel. And um, the rooms were like really, 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 really big. Like I hadn't ever seen rooms like this before. It was like, you know, those suites that you see on TV and stuff like that. They were really, really big. Well, um, I was there with... Um, a guy that I was friends with in high school. His name is Russell J. Stalick, I think. I'm not really sure how to say his last name. Uh, he's married now, so. Um, but, um. So, he was in the dream. And another one. I've had, like, three recently. Um. They've sort of been spread out a little bit, but, um, and we were just, like, there was a whole bunch of people there, and, um, we were just, like, laughing and goofing around and, like, just having a good time, and, um, uh, there was all sorts of people there. There was men and women and everybody, and, like, there were so many people, and, uh, and then, all of a sudden, in the stream, we were just hanging out and talking and having a good time. And all of a sudden, like, in this dream, there was these swings. It was like, these swings, like, appeared, like, on this, um, pole thing, you know? And, uh, you sat on them, and they were white. And, um, but for some reason, they weren't plastic. You would think that they would be plastic, but they weren't. It was like some odd material. I have no idea what kind of material it was, but it, like, this white, like, it came down, it was really small, like, like a rope, sort of, like, and it came down, and then it, like, it sort of looks like, it sort of looked like a spoon. <laughs> now that I think about it, um, it, came down like this, and then it, like, came out like a spoon, like this, except it was, like, a little rounder, you know, one of those round spoons, um, and you sat on it, so we sat on it, and then it, like, took you around the room, and so a whole bunch of us got on them, and we were, like, just, woo, just, like, sliding around on this thing, and, like, riding it, like, some kind of, like, um, ride or something at a park or something amusement park and um so and then uh after that uh we were going like really slow um and then uh let's see after that i forgot and i remember we were at one point we were um me and some women friends, we were like friends in the dream, and um, we were walking down the hallway, and we were walking down the hallway singing <laughs> this song that I had a dream about a long time ago. I forgot uh, how long ago, but... Uh, and I looked, I decided to look up the meaning of it. Because sometimes when people write songs, um, they, it has like a personal meaning to them or something. Um, so, I looked it up and I was singing, or we were all singing. There, I think there was like three or four of us. We were walking down the hall singing... Garth Brooks, The Last Dance, I think that's the name of the song. It's the song that um, says, I could have missed the pain, but I'd have had to miss the dance. 
Um, well, a while back, uh, I uh, had a dream that I was hearing this song come out of the apartment. It was in the apartment, literally, like, right on the other side of this wall. And my bed's on this wall. And I was, like, listening, like, through the wall or whatever. It was like I could hear through the wall. Um, but I don't remember there being anybody in there. Uh, so that's some pretty cool stuff. Okay, so Garth Brooks was in the dream, which was fun funny. We're, like, singing his song and, um, uh, walking down the hallway and singing a song and, um, and we were pretty happy, you know, we weren't, like, sad or anything. Um, and then, uh, we ran into Garth Brooks and George Strait. <laughs> Except George Strait didn't exactly look like George Strait. It was kind of odd. I have no idea what that was all about. And he didn't have a hat on, which was like, and I noticed that in the dream. And I was like, you don't have a hat on. <laughs> I was like, I just always, I've always wanted to tell you that uh, you're one of my favorite country singers. I got to tell him in the dream. It was so cool. And he was so nice about it. And, um, and then, um... I, uh, I got to shake his hand or something like that, and then, uh, I turned around, and there was a guy sitting next to, like, this wall, but it was, like, it, it was, like, stuck out, and then it was, like, the end of the wall, like, the, you know, and, uh, he was sitting there, and it was Garth Brooks's brother. Well, I didn't know, this is gonna sound, this is gonna make me sound like not a very good country music fan person, because I've listened to country music, like, literally my whole life, and, uh, I didn't know that, um, he had a brother, and his brother was in the dream, so I'm not really sure what that was all about, but I looked it up, and I found out that he has a brother, and I was like, oh! <gasps> I was like, what the, his name's Kelly. Um, okay, so I have no idea what that was about. And, um, so then we like, we were like talking and I said, hey, to his brother or something. We were talking just for a couple of minutes and then, and then we just, we just started to walk away and we continued with the song. We continued on the song where we were walking and then all of a sudden we ran into them. And then, uh, and there was somebody else there, but I have no idea who it was. It was somebody, it wasn't anybody famous or anything. Uh, and then we just kept on singing. We were like, I could have missed the pain, but I'd have had to miss the dance. Or like, we started like somewhere in the song or whatever. It was so cool. And they were just like smiling and stuff. And it was cool. But, um... Yeah, I'm going to get into another video about uh, what that song is about. I was like, oh, okay. So, um, anyway, that's all I've got for you for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope everybody has a good day. And, um, yeah, that's it. <laughs> I will talk to you in the next video.